Hi babes, it's Maya back with another YouTube video and today it's currently 9.51. I had to go to my nail tech's house to get my nails for my birthday. These are what they're looking like and I gotta, you know, do the cuticles and everything and I'm gonna put them, I'm probably not gonna wear them until the day that I go to the airport just so I can look good like I don't know what it is but like I have nothing to do that day well I do have to go out that day with my girlfriend so yeah I might as well put them on at the airport because they should stick they should stick pretty good hopefully I just need to figure out a way to get them on without the glue showing through underneath because when they're like a not like a clearish color it kind of turns sometimes you can see a little i don't know indentations that there's glue so i'm gonna open them really quickly so y'all can see them better okay let me take the glue out and then well i'll keep that in there so oh so this is what they look like i'm gonna show it from this angle too Yeah, they're super pretty. I wanted bling because my dress is really blingy and it's not even focusing on the crystals. Anywho, yeah, super blingy, super cute. And they look big, but it's only because my nails are pretty big. Like, I have wide nails, which I'm glad because having skinny nails sometimes has its ups and downs, but mine are wide, so... My nails gotta be a little bit bigger because I'd rather have them a little bit bigger on my nails than have them too small because then they really wouldn't fit. But the only thing that I really gotta do it looks like to make them fit is um, push back my cuticles and push them like on the sides and stuff. But I should be fine. So yeah, I'm finna chill for a little bit because I have a eye doctor's appointment at 1210. I need to go to Dollar General or somewhere to get me a shower curtain because I don't have one so I've just been taking baths for the past two days since I've cleaned my bathroom out because we couldn't find any anywhere because I had to throw that one away it's really old and yeah I might order one off of I'm sorry y'all my ear has been irritating me so bad I have to go to the doctor about it when I get back um they might have some on Amazon that's like one day delivery or like same day delivery so if they have that i'm gonna get that if not i'm gonna go uh they didn't have them at dollar general so i might go to walmart or target even though i really don't feel like it anywho that's gonna be it for this portion of the vlog i will probably be seeing you guys on not tomorrow well maybe tomorrow but the next day that i'm actually going to be doing something is going to be on the 19th and i have to go get my wax let me give you a breakdown of the week. Okay, so today, I doctor's appointment. I'm not filming that because I can't for obvious reasons. The 18th is my chill day. I'm going to use it to clean my messy room, get my laundry done for my trip, and then um, just, you know, cleaning my room out. Not for the simple fact that, the fact that it's dirty, but also because I like to come back to a clean room, so I need my room to be clean. And on the 19th, I have my wax. I said like 12 something. On the 20th, I have a client early in the morning, and I think that's it for the 20th, so I don't know. I might fit some more stuff into that day if I can. On the 21st, what's the 21st? On the 21st, I get my toes done, and then on the 22nd, I get my hair and my lashes done. And on the 23rd, babes, that's the day that I leave, so I'm going to be in New York with my girlfriend and we're going to a party for a one-year-old not that kind of party i don't party hard like that but yeah that's gonna be it for this portion of the vlog i will see you guys tomorrow hey y'all it's maya and i'm back with another youtube video welcome or welcome back if you are a new or returning subscriber um today we have a lot going on um i was almost late for my wax appointment which i'm sitting outside of now because of this right here my tire pressure is low for what reason i don't know because it was fine last time i i had to stop at the gas station to put some gas in i don't know why i spoke it's not outside i had to stop at the gas station to put some gas in and my dad put it in there and 
still no change so i don't know what's going on i don't like driving on highways because i still consider myself a new driver i've only been driving for a year but the amount of times that i've driven in that year is not a lot i got my car when it was at like a hundred thousand miles now it's only at a hundred and five thousand miles so that just tells you i don't drive a lot and the main people that drive my car are my parents because i just i don't like driving so i took the initiative today to come out on my own and this happens and i always do avoid highways and it took me the highway anyway but um you know there's not much I could do about that I did it I got here I made it on time I thought I was gonna be really late my appointments at 12 10 and it's 12 02 she said I don't need to be early but my appointment is gonna start on time and there's a five minute window so I'm probably gonna go in at 12 08 just so I can sit outside so I'll be exactly on time I haven't gotten a wax in a very long time and I'm actually kind of nervous because the last time I waxed was I waxed myself and it hurt so bad that I had to cut the wax off of me like I had to lift it up get some scissors and literally like snip 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 until all the wax came off and it took me like 30 minutes to get that done because it just was hurting I waxed some sides like I waxed the top and then maybe a little bit like I did the bikini line obviously that didn't hurt much but the lips babe mm -mm, couldn't do it and she's good like it hurts but she gets all the hairs out like there was another lady that I went to she hurt really badly because she would like pull it up pull it up pull it up it will take her like three pulls to get the strip off with her it takes her one to two babes one to two and I haven't been to her since 2021 right before I went to New York to see my girlfriend in July so it's been over a year since I've been to her and all the people that I've cheated on her with is just it didn't give one girl she was very um soft but she didn't get all the hairs like it didn't hurt but she didn't get all the hairs so today we finna be bald and I'm excited because I haven't gotten a wax in a very long time and I don't shave I can't shave because I get really bad ink grown. So she got a lot to work with today. And we're excited. I'm ready. My birthday is in how many days now? Today is the 19th, six days. And I leave to New York in four days. So the countdown has officially begun. I will see you guys when I get inside. Oh, wow. That was it? That was it. That's it. Oh wow, okay, that wasn't bad. <gasps> Those are the worst ones. First we was touching and just kissing softly. And did a fuss and can you get above me? crazy because I had to take my wig off because I'm breaking out along the sides of my hairline on both sides this is I've been there done that at me but yeah it's nighttime now that appointment was at 12 some I got done at 12 something drove my little self back home so many cars almost hit me per usual but now I have to get onto this room as y'all can see the brows look really really good they're still nice and thick just the way I like them and yeah they look really 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 nice I gotta figure out if I can get some of this gone before what Tuesday and 
my girlfriend is out right now getting batteries for my light that I have to bring with me. I'm not bringing this yellow filter, but my light that I have to bring. Well, should I? I might bring it with me. Anywho, light needs batteries and my Polaroid camera needs batteries. So while she doing that, also I've been kind of having like my tattoos have been really itchy and kind of like raised. So I don't know if that's a part of the healing process or I don't think they're infected, but like I don't know what my body got going on dealing with the tattoos. This one's like really swollen. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's <laughs> it's a different texture. Like it it's like bumpy. But yeah, while all that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this room. Because tomorrow I have a 7.45 a.m. client. So I'm going to have to make sure I get in the bed pretty early. Which is why I'm trying to start now at 7. So I can shower and get all that stuff done. I've already eaten my dinner. And I have a doctor's appointment right after that. And I have, I also have, oh my god, I need to do that tonight. I have to get my wig. It's somewhere over there in that mess. I have to get my wig and I have to get my purple shampoo. And I have to literally like get my wig together because i <laughs> it's a long story and i really don't feel like getting into it because yeah but i gotta make sure my wig is right before my birthday because i need to make sure it's the platinum that i want it to be at so i'm gonna do that on my own so yeah i already started the process but it's not where i need it it's still too yellowy so i'm gonna get that done show y'all that before i go to sleep show you my room before i go to sleep because i literally have no choice but to clean my entire room tonight because i'm not waking up any earlier than seven o'clock in the morning to get ready for that cut so i'll see you guys in a couple of hours <sighs> Disclaimer, I'm anemic if you see me out of breath. That's why I, physical activity is not my thing. I ran up and down the stairs. So, I just got back from my doctor's appointment. Everything went well. The wig is not the color that I wanted it to be. But it's not a bad color. It's I washed all the gray out because the gray was terrible as y'all could see. Now it's more of a toned down, ashy, blonde kind of color. And I'm going to see if I can add some more um something i don't know i don't know, think i have any more lemon juice but if i have any more lemons to squeeze i'll squeeze some lemons over top of it to see if anything is um you know see if it'll 
lighten a little bit more but it looks decent i'm not gonna do the updo anymore like i was planning on doing i'm going to do um kind of like a beach wave type of thing and i'm just doing that for pictures in all honesty because to be honest by the time it's time to take the pictures for my um actual birthday i have no clue how to do beach waves so and i don't have the curler thing to do the beach waves anyways unless i i don't know i don't think it'll look right if i try to do it myself but yeah that's where we're at right now i have some Zaxby's and I've been eating it already so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that um probably take a little nap because it's currently 12 and I'm pretty sure my hairstylist doesn't get uh, like doesn't get to her um like salon until four or something and I'm pretty sure it's not even one o'clock yet if it is it's like one literally let me see what time it is actually because I need to know yeah, it's not even one. It's 12.57. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and chill for a couple hours. And then I will come back after I have blow-dried the wig and done everything so you guys can see that. Peace. Hey, guys. I'm up from my nap. It was a good nap. Um, the hair looks like this now. It's a paley grayish kind of color it doesn't look bad and it, it's not even all the way dry yet so i know that once it's like blow dried and everything it's gonna look super duper cute so i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it so i'm getting ready to go drop that off right now and then come back home and chill for the rest of the night because all i have to do tomorrow is go get my nails my toes done and then I have a client tomorrow as well. And then Saturday, a lot of stuff to do that morning. But we're going to be back later. Mwah.
of the way when I should've went home. Only time of the day I get to spend on my own. I was tripping off high, used to sleep at your crib. Should drive out right where you live and pick you up on the way. We ain't spoken so long, probably put me in the past. I can still get you wet and I can still make you laugh. You should call in the work if that ain't too much to ask. I could pour you up a drink and we can first love. Hey guys, it's Jemiah and I'm back from my eyelash appointment and I'm kind of trying to get everything together and situated so the first thing that, I, well the second thing that I have to do is clean my room. I want to put my nails on though because I want to take pictures and stuff so I'm going to go ahead and get them all clean and stuff and then I'm going to show you guys me applying them so give me one second. First things first though, let's get into the lashes. I love them and then they're like really like out there so I know like after these next couple of days a few are gonna fall out so I'm gonna be fine before my birthday the first thing I'm gonna do because my friend told me what to do with the nails is alcohol so I'm just gonna spray them and then wipe them off with my towel this just gets rid of any oil on the nails so then they have a nice little base to get onto and if y'all haven't seen the nails let me get my necklace out of here real quick i definitely showed them but 
in case you're a skipper these are what the nails look like period so the first thing that i'm gonna do is push these cuticles back so i know which like which part of my nail to file and i'm not cutting your cuticle i'm i mean my cuticle the key is to not cut your cuticle because if you cut your cuticle then your nail is not gonna like your press on is not gonna have anything to kind of like hide behind because you can tell the difference between a press on and a real nail based off of the cuticle so you want that to kind of sit underneath your cuticle so it looks like it's coming out from underneath it because if not it'll just look like it's sitting on top and it'll look really press on it and that's not what you want i got a lot of cuticle to work with so that's really good it's like a little hoodie for the nails I low-key want to do prep one nail at a time, but I know that's going to make the situation harder. So I'm just going to, not one nail, but one hand. I'm filing my nail down because you want the glue to have something tacky to stick on because if your nails are glossy and stuff from its natural oils, it's not going to stick. And I'm also going to file them down some because I hate having long nails under press-ons. This is so difficult with this little ass file. <laughs> Cause it's looking like it wants to be stubborn. Okay, we got it. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so y'all can see. Cause again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Ooh, I already even got some glue on me. Okay, so put it, make sure it's at the cuticle because that's literally where it's gonna be sitting at. And then just Drag it down a little bit. Okay, this is my thumbnail. I'm pressing it a bit hard as hell. And then she said to put some on the inside. Pop in here. And that should help it stay some too. And then I'm gonna press that down real good. And boom, you can't tell me I didn't just go get my nails done. Come on now. Push that up into the cuticle as far as you can. And press, press, press. And these literally, I've had press-ons before. They do not come off like the other cheap ones do. Like, cause this is like actual like nail glue that nail techs use for tips. At least my nail tech uses this for her tips cause I've seen her do it. So yeah. Gonna let that dry. And then we're getting to the blingies. The next one i want to kind of focus on the bling a little bit more look at that beauty okay i can tell this one's gonna stay like longer than my other ones did though i push mine up and then down I just want these for pictures, like literally nothing more than that. This one's really big. I should have gotten it smaller. <laughs> but it's okay. This looks big as hell. I probably should have gotten should have gotten them all in like this width for these fingers, but again, I don't really care. As long as I have nails. Ah! Too much damn glue. I gotta get this to wipe it off. I'm not trying to have a sticky side finger. 
Okay, now we're on to this one that has bling, and I'm gonna put the other the the glue in this one too on the bottom. I just forgot it. And it looks cute with my tat, but my tat is like healing weirdly, so <laughs> don't mind that. Okay, last nail. Okay, and again, the last nail is just the same alligator print. I'm gonna do the other hand off camera just because you guys have already seen the whole process, but there is no point in showing you again. Okay, and that's that. So while I do the other hand, I'm gonna do that and then come back. But this is what we're looking like. Super cute, okay. Can you get above?